We're talk about some fresh starts, and that's the theme of the yes. latest issue of Old Magazine. It's out tomorrow, and there's a first having to do with this. You want to show them? Yes, it's a first. Are you okay. ready? A surprise. Turn around. There it Turn around. around. Turn around. And it is. <laughs> This is the first, the fresh starts for the new year for you, for the magazine, for everybody at home as well. This is so great. You know why? Because you're my first cover boy. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, this is a special green drink. I made a little fizzy for you. Ooh, this is, mmm. We had a lot of apples this time. A lot of apples. Mm -hmm. A little fizzy. It's good mm -hmm. for you. Builds character. And ginger. Now, this shoot, folks, was you know, an incredible event. I mean, it was really a party. Uh, I look like Mr. Rogers here right now. <laughs> but what we're actually no, doing originally we started out and we had the same, we had two orange shirts on, right? <laughs> we had, we had both of, yeah, that's how we started. And we, we, then we decided, oh, look, we can't look like twins. It's just, this is taking it too far. So then we had you go change your so shirt. So why did you decide to go co-ed finally? All these years. Well, because I adore you. Double. That's really the reason. Yeah. Because I adore you. Yeah, because I adore you. That's it. Are we going to go sit down? I'm pretty sure back here. <laughs> now, this, this, you taught me how to do this um, how many years ago when we were on the show? And now, Stedman asks for this all the time. Oh, Stedman. He's so demanding, Stedman. Uh -huh. Well, he, he's, he asks for it. That's after he has had, you know, like Thanksgiving breakfast for three days. <laughs> and then he'll go, what about that Dr. Oz green drink? <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, I, I remember the very first time. I learned so many things over the years. Just in the small things. It's not even the, the big ideas you might think might stick. But when I first gave you a green drink, because I was having it, and you said, bring something authentic from your life in. Yeah. And you taste it, you say, you know, it tastes fresh. Mm -hmm. And that word always stuck with me because I think when we're talking to people about life and vitality, uh, and that's what the new year is about, folks, mm -hmm. it's about fresh starts. Mm -hmm. So having a blank page, you know, dr drawn on. That's so right. Talk to me about how you know that you're ready to move towards fresh, to be blank, to have a new start. Well, for me, it is when you just get tired of being the same way you've been. You realize that it's time to, you know, step it up, and you realize that in order to do that, you've got to clear the slate. And um, that's why I love this issue of the magazine, because the 28 steps are really easy to follow. And once you do, you feel like you have really stepped into, you know, once you do something for 28 days, you're, you're now doing it. You're in it. It becomes your and habit. It becomes your habit. And so the idea of doing just one thing, mm -hmm. just one thing. I love all of those uh, uh, 28 uh, tips that you did. Well, I love the tea. I love the popcorn. popcorn I, I love knowing that 90 you can eat nine chips or you can have three cups of popcorn. I think crazy. Crazy. Yeah. And now my new thing, this is my thing for popcorn. <laughs> Guys, um, there's a thing called truffle salt. Oh, we uh, have that. We have it. Do you have it? Yes, Lisa loves that. Truffle salt. Yeah. I've now gone truffle salt. So, so I do a little truffle salt and a little lemon on the on the popcorn. Yeah. Little lemon makes the truffle salt makes it stick. Fantastic. Yeah, it's the best. Three thing. cups of that to nine potato chips. It's a good trade off. That good trade off. No, it's the perfect late night snack. It really is. Sit yes. back there. You want you know do what you want to do in life. And you you're not feeling guilty about it. But when I open the magazine, the first yes. thing I looked at is what I know for sure. Mm. You know, so it's Oprah's little letter to all of us about the things she's focused on. Which I was writing one this morning for, for an upcoming issue. I'm already working on uh, February, so I was writing that at 5 this morning because it was due three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be late. Yes. Yeah, it's like the fire under <laughs> Well, you. no, but I can't. I can't I, I'm always, like, pressured to do it. And so I have to wait until, they, until, until Gail is like, we're bleeding over <laughs> here. So anyway. Well, you, you hit it out of the park, I think, in this issue. You talked about the power of intention. Mm. And specifically, Oprah speaks to the fact that it, it actually helps work miracles when you can envision what you want to be and see it in front of you. Mm -hmm. Explain that to me a little bit. Well, I don't do anything, Dr. Oz, without intention. Like, I don't, I, I used to have the disease to please in my 30s. Anybody else have that? Women yeah. grow up with that. Men don't. Yeah. But I used to have the disease <laughs> to please. And I, 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 I learned about 1989-90 that intention really determines outcome. So that if you're very clear about what your intention or your real motivation for doing something, that that is what the outcome is gonna be. So for instance, if you do something for somebody and you really don't wanna do it, you say yes when you really mean no, yeah. the message you send to that person is is that you can ask me and I will say yes when I don't want to. So I learned to just, uh, you know, even coming here today or, being in New York to do some other things, I asked myself, what is the real reason I want to do that? 
so that it is not about somebody else's reason, but about my reason. And so if you want to get healthier, if you want to improve your relationship, if you want a different job, if you want to step out of your history or your past, whatever that has been, and make a change, and you have to do that with an intention that is bigger than the moment. Otherwise, you end up failing. Yeah, it's the energy you bring. You yes, it's that. the energy you bring. Oh, yeah. She got learned. <laughs> uh, yes. We ended the interview with a question uh, from you that, you know, it's a classic Oprah question, so it stops you in your tracks. You have to think through it. You asked me what I need to do differently. How do I find that thread of inspiration in my life and take it where it needs to go next? Mm -hmm. So what's the answer for you? Mm -hmm. what's, your, what's your big plan? Well, the answer uh, may surprise, uh, I don't know if it'll surprise you or not. Um, for, for, for me, at this particular time in my life, I recognize that everything is about moving closer to that which is God. And without a full spiritual center, and I'm not talking about religion, mm -hmm. I'm talking about without understanding the, 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 the fullness of from, from which you've come, you can't really fulfill your supreme moment of destiny. And I think everybody has a supreme moment of destiny. So what you've done and what you've been doing, and actually people have several supreme moments, some people do. So I think being connected to that which is greater than yourself, for me, at this particular time in my life, is the most important thing, and that's what I'm, I'm working on. Um, um, one of the things I did in next chapter, I went to visit a town uh, called TM Town, and it's in Fairfield, Iowa. Mm -hmm. Would you imagine that in Fairfield, Iowa, uh, it's a town population about 9,500, a third of the town meditates. Hmm. So there's a traffic jam in Fairfield, Iowa at 530 <laughs> with mothers and doctors and dentists and lawyers and engineers and clerks and soccer moms all headed to the dome in Fairfield, Iowa, people who look just like you and me, and they're all there meditating. And in order to prepare for to doing that show, um, I brought the Transcendental Meditations into Harpo Studios to teach me and my team how to meditate. So we started meditating. Seven of us, seven led to 70, led to 270, led to now everybody in the company meditates. Nine o'clock in the morning, 4.30 in the afternoon, no matter what's going on, we stop, we meditate. And that way of being still with ourselves, coming back to the center, and recognizing that something is more important than you, it's more important than the work you're doing, it's more important, brings a kind of energy and, a, and, a, and, a, and, a, and an intensity of energy, an intention that we've never had before. And you, you can't imagine what's happened in the company. People who used to have migraines don't, people are sleep, sleeping better, people have better relationships, people interact with other people better. It's been fantastic. So what, the one thing I want to continue to do is to center myself every day and make that a, 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 a practice for myself because I am 1,000% better when I do that. 1,000% oh. better when I take myself back to something bigger than myself. You know what I love the most about being with you? What? Besides the fact that I learn every single time. There's a defiance in you that I just love. A defiance? Yes. In me? In you. <laughs> if you're going to be who you are and you're going to stick to your guns on that, yeah. it's, you know, it's a well a you know, weathered sword that you take in the battle. Yeah. And I applaud you for it. Everybody in the audience is going to go home with a copy of O Magazine, the January issue. And this piece stands tomorrow. When we come back, I'm going to take you through our 28 day fresh start challenge. First up, I'm going to show you the freeze to cook. So, here your heart. Hope it I love you.